Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we've been building this little site here with a hero section with dual buttons, a little about us section with a little animation going on there, scroll animation, a sticky call to action bar up there, video section, some split sections, a little carousel section, image carousel, a little testimonial carousel, team section, a little pricing table section, and a contact us section, and a live Google map there. What we're going to do today is create a little menu at the top so we can scroll to all these sections automatically. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable my visual builder here. And what we want to do is each of these sections, we need to give it a CSS ID. So that way we can scroll to it in the menu. So let's go to our first one. And we'll call this about. So I'm going to go to the section, the blue tab. I'm going to go over to the advanced tab. I'm going to go to CSS ID and classes. And we need to use IDs for this, not classes. So I'm going to give it the ID of about. And let's go to our dashboard while we're doing this and we'll do both at once. We'll go down to appearance and menus. And I've got a default menu here. But let's create a new one. So I'm hitting the create a new button up here. I'm going to give it a name. Call it scroll. Whatever you want to call yours is fine. Create menu. Okay, and to build our menu, we need to use custom links. And here's custom links here. So if I open a custom link for the URL, we need to put our CSS ID and all CSS IDs have to have a hashtag in front of them. So it's hashtag, then the name that we gave it, which was about what we want it to say. This is the text that will appear in the menu. Add it to menu when we're happy. There it is right there. Let's go back. We'll go on down to the next one, which will be services right here. Again, I'm going to go into services, blue tab for the section, CSS ID, custom ID. And we want to give it, call it what you like. It really doesn't matter as long as you remember it. I tend to use the names of the things just purely so I can remember what they are. Do another custom link, hashtag services. What you want it to say in the menu, add it to the menu. And we'll go on down, projects, advanced CSS ID and classes. I'm just going to call it prod. I go to the menus again. Add another custom link. Add it to the menu. Don't need to link to those. Let's have a testimonial section. Again, advanced CSS ID in classes. I'll call this one test. Back to the menu, rinse and repeat, hashtag test, add it to our menu right there. And we'll have the team section, exactly the same thing. Now we just need one more for the contact. So hashtag team. I guess I could call it our team. And to do this little edit on the link itself, all I did was hit the little chevron by the custom link there. It opens up and lets you put various little things in there. Okay, so we've got the team. Well, could have pricing as well, I suppose. Don't want too many things up there. But yep, we'll use pricing. Just 
for this price. Well, I guess we could call it hosting as its prices for hosting. And you don't need to have it saying the same thing there. As long as the ID is there, you can call it what you want. And contact, there we go. And that's plenty to have in a menu. Great, let's shut that one up. So there's our links right there. Don't really need any of them to be subs. If you want to make any of these into a sub menu item, it doesn't look like we've got a title in this one. Projects. Quite often, often happens when I'm talking and doing stuff at the same time. And we've not got one in here. Testimonials. And like I was saying, if you wanted to make any of these into a sub item, just pull it slightly to the right, let it go. Now it's a sub item. And as you can see, it says sub item right there. But I'm happy to have these all in the main menu right there. OK, let's save our menu. And let's give it a location. It's called scroll. So we'll say manage locations. And this menu up here, this is our primary menu. With the Divi theme, that's our primary menu. So I want to assign it to the primary menu. There it is. Save our changes. Now, what we can also do is we can put the links for our buttons in as well while we're here and decide where we want them taken. So contact us wants to go to contact us. So we're in here. There's the button. So button one URL, which is in the links. Wants to go to contact. And button two link wants to go down to our about section. I should think more info. So we'll put that one in there, about. And we can move on down. And these buttons down here, I think I'll take them all down to services section below and I could copy that go into the next one paste the link in rinse and repeat again Now I'll get a quote button with our sticky bar here that wants to go to our contact form again. I've already put that one in there. Great. I preempted that one, obviously. Haven't got any in the services, none in the projects. This one wants to go to our contact form also. So we can go into our call to action module here. Here's a link. Contact. Same with this one, future proofing. We'll go into this call to action module. Go down to the link. And I think we're probably done here. Ah, these pricing tables we want those to take to the contact so they can inquire about the pricing so we'll go into this module button link contact and we'll do the same thing copy that go back into the next one paste that link in there 
and into the third one. Paste that in there, fantastic. Save all the changes in the module and we're good to go. Let's save our page changes here and exit the visual builder. As you can see, our menu at the top's changed. Now the page is reloaded. Let's make sure it's going to work. About us. Fantastic. Services. Great. Projects. Testimonials. Team. Hosting. And contact. There we go. They're all working perfectly. And we can either hit the back to the top button to go back to the top. Or if I go back down there again, you can hit the logo. Could put a home button in there with a hashtag. That'll take them back to the top. Could put a home button in there with a link to the top of the page. But I really don't see the point with a back to the top button. But that's entirely up to you. And of course, it'll work in reverse order just as well. And let's make sure our get a quote is going to take us to the contact form. Great. And web design should take us to the contact. Oh, to services. That's, we put all these to the services. Need to change the hover state of those buttons there. But apart from that, we're good to go. All our links are working. And that is how you add your menu for a one page scrolling site. We're almost done with this site now. What I'll do is in the next video, we'll just create a custom footer. Very simple footer here. We've got some social media icons, little logo, and I'm using a bit of dynamic content here for the copyright statement. So that'll update automatically every year. And we've got our menu in there. It could create a shorter menu because this will work in reverse as well. But we'll do that in the next video. So there you go, guys. That's how to connect out all these sections we've built for a one page scrolling site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.